Good morning, all. Uh, welcome you all for the second day of our uh, T Access event, Trillion Expert Summit event, India session. So today I'm going to discuss about the collective spaces, which is introduced in uh, Trillion Docs in the latest version of Trillion Docs. So before I proceed further, let me introduce about myself. I'm Naveen Kumar. I'm working as a senior technical consultant with uh, STL, now called as RWS Group. So I've been working with STL since uh, around eight years, seven to eight years now. I'm working with different customers and partners to implement uh, 3DN docs as well as 3DN sites. So this is just a brief introduction about myself and the agenda for today's discussion or the agenda for next 30, 35 minutes is about, we will see what is 3DN docs. I'm just going to give some introduction about 3DN docs for the people who don't know about 3DN docs, if they don't know. And then we will step on to collective spaces where we will discuss about draft space and review space. Then we will also see the reason or the need of the collective spaces. And we will have a quick uh, demo on um, the collective spaces and review spaces. And then we will just see what, what is there in the pipeline for uh, the, the 3DN docs in the latest releases. So this is the agenda for uh, next 30, 35 minutes or so. So first we will see what is 3DN docs. I'm sure uh, many people uh, who might be interested in this session, they know about 3DN docs, but I also wanted to give a brief, brief introduction about 3DN docs, what it, what it is exactly and uh, where we are using that and what is the use of it. So 3DN Docs is basically uh, content management for your uh, documentation purpose. So we have a lot of industries where they need to have a lot of documentations for their products. So 3DN Docs is a platform which provides them a content manager or content management capabilities to manage their content that will be published as different documents. So basically, this was known as Knowledge Center or Trisoft in the uh, older days. So recently, I mean, in uh, 2014, we changed from uh, Knowledge Center to 3DN Docs. So we have released 3DN Docs 13. Now we, have, we are releasing 3DN Docs 14, SP1, SP2, and SP3. And next year, we have a plan of releasing 3DN Docs 15 as well. So this content manager is... Um, component based uh, content management. That means all your data or the objects are stored as a component in this content manager that can be reused so that you need not to rewrite the components or the data again and again for your documentation purpose. Basically, this content manager is based on the data so data is nothing but it's an XML uh, framework for managing the data that can be used for the documentation purpose for by different authors. So this is a small introduction about 3DN Docs. And now we will see what exactly is a collective space in 3DN Docs. So when we talk about a document or when we talk about creating a document for any product or something. So basically we have a 3DN docs system or a content manager. In that content manager, we will have different stakeholders. For example, we have subject matter authors. That means who will have a deep knowledge on the product or on the subject on which they are going to create the product or the documentation. And then we will have different client tools like publication manager or different uh, XML editors, which will be used by different professional authors or power users. 
and then we have subject matter reviewers who will review the document which is created by the authors so collective spaces is a platform which brings all these different stakeholders together and work collaboratively to create a document <clears throat> so this collective spaces will enable by providing draft space or a review space or different client tools which can be used to interact with tdn doc system or content manager that will help you to create a robust or a concrete document for your product so in collective spaces we have two different parts like as i mentioned a draft space or a review space so first we will see what exactly is a draft space so draft space is a authoring tool it's a online authoring tool that can be used by you know a, a common or a junior level of authors who can build the content for the documentation so we will see how that can be done in our demo session basically the draft space is mainly focusing on creating the document and adding that to the publication so with draft space you will get a complete view of your document also you can scroll it to different places or you know different topics using the draft space and we have a nice ux to view your document and also you can configure it based on your need and customizations and also it can be extended to be integrated with different taxonomy models or ai models to tag your content so in yesterday's session in one of the session where we saw uh, philip was tagging that uh, philip was tagging some topics along with some ai tags so that is also possible in the draft space so typically a draft space will look something like this so here you see different options to edit your content also you can style it based on your need and on the right panel we can see your uh, or the content objects like maps the topics and other things so this is a just a screenshot of a draft space and when we look at the review space so review space is something which will allow the reviewers to review the documents add their comments or suggestions to the document which is created by the authors and that will help them to keep track of those comments as well and make the document perfect so basically as i mentioned we will keep track of all the reviews and also this can be used in the workflow to approve your documents so this is also highly scalable and uh, you can scroll through the complete document as you wish and this doesn't require any training like uh, you know if you have to train somebody on the 3d and docs or something to review the document or something it doesn't require that so it requires minimal training and anybody can use these review spaces to review the document and you know publish your documents also you can integrate different apis and uh, you know uh, or even you can integrate with your own uh, reviewing systems by using the apis provided by the 3d and docs review space and that can be integrated with your uh, different applications as well for example like you know you can add different commenting sections or suggestions from different uh, platforms and get it interacted with uh, 3d and docs as well so this is another screenshot which will uh, show you the review space so as you see this is one document and here you can add different uh, comments and uh, stuffs so we will see in the demo session how we can um, how how someone can review this and get it changed by the authors 
So this is about uh, what exactly is a collective space and in the collective space, what is draft space and what is review space. There might be questions like, you know, um, people who are used to 3 and docs, they might ask us a question, why we need this? So let's consider a scenario where we have a automotive industry who are into manufacturing um, uh, cars. Of course, they might not be used to different uh, technologies like uh, XMLs or different uh, authoring tools like Oxygen or you know, uh, you know, uh, XMetal or something. So in such case, they will have to hire or they will have to look for people who are well versed with uh, these kind of tools to create their content. However, it might be difficult for them to get the candidates who have the knowledge on the subject or who have a knowledge on manufacturing of a car along with these things. So in such cases, we want to make it easy for those guys who are subject matter experts, but they don't or they don't have enough skills to work with the different technologies. So consider in the previous uh, experiences or before we introduced collective spaces, the authoring was quite a difficult process because they had to use our uh, you know uh, third party uh, content authoring tools like Oxygen or XMetal. There we need a trained technical authors who can arrange these content, which could be like in different pieces of XMLs and that needs to be assembled and that has to be provided to the subject matter experts to review or to add the content. So in this case, the contribution from subject matter uh, experts was quite less. So to bring or to enable subject matter experts to contribute more towards the document or to or towards creating the content, we would like to bring this approach of collective spaces, which is easy for subject matter experts to edit the content or create the content or even to review the content. So by introducing, uh, uh, you know, collective spaces, the manual tasks, which used to be done before, like, you know, once the document is created, take a printout of that or create an Excel sheet where they could add their review comments and send it to the reviewer or authors to add those uh, or to make the respective changes based on the suggestions which are added in the XML or in ki or a kind of uh, you know notes on the printed document. So we wanted to avoid all these things. So that's the reason why we would like to use collaborative spaces or collective spaces, which will enable subject matter experts and content authors to work collaboratively without any kind of bugs or, you know, without any kind of issues between them. So basically this will, you know, consolidate the uh, efforts from both technical authors as well as subject matter experts. So this is the main intention or this is the main reason why we brought collective spaces into the Tridian Docs world. So with this, we would like to give rise to the subject matter expert authors. Basically, with this approach, we don't need any kind of uh, trained uh, uh, XML authors or, or or trained content authors uh, who might be working closely with these things. So by using collective spaces, it will give or it will bring up a new position called subject matter expert author like for example, in product companies, or also, as I mentioned, in manufacturing companies. So you can, you know, you can use a subject matter expert itself to create the content. So these are the reasons why we would like, I mean, which will bring uh, the subject matter experts into the scene here, basically in product companies or in um, uh, product managers can contribute in terms of creating the document or also in the other organizations where content content itself is a product. So there may be the scientist or uh, the academic uh, 
or the financial guys can contribute towards creating your document extensively. Also, it will increase the number of primary writers. That means it will also allow many other people to contribute towards creating the document. And of course, there is no time or budget in, uh, uh, you know, is wasted in terms of training uh, the people in terms of creating the content or something like that. So this was the intention of uh, creating or bringing the collective spaces into Tridian Docs. So now we will uh, see how the collective spaces can be used with respect to Tridian Docs and what are the different advantages or what, what are the different features which are included in the space and review space. So I have a Tridian Docs system here and I have two browsers open. One is Chrome and another is Firefox. In Chrome, I logged into the system as a author and in Firefox, I logged into the system as a reviewer. So as you already know, we have different roles assigned to author and different roles assigned to a reviewer. Author can create only the content and they will not be able to review, whereas reviewer will be able to review the content, but really cannot uh, create the content or edit the content. So in the Tridian docs, when we configure or when we enable collective spaces, you get to see two different options here, like draft online and review online. So since we are enabling the edit or we are enabling the review based on the version level of a publication, we are adding it to the version level. So for example, now consider I want to add some content or edit some content for my publication called demo publication and I will choose the version as two. Since I'm an author, I will click on draft online. So whenever I want to add something to my document, so this is how the draft space looks like. So as you see, for each object, there will be a status which is displayed for op uh, different objects. So this object is already released so you have an option to create a new version for that as well so when you click on outline you get to see the structure of your publication completely all the map and the topics which are part of your publication are displayed using this outline you can navigate to a specific topic which you want to edit or which you want to manage also we have a option called attributes so attributes will define what are the different attributes related to your uh, topic which we generally call it as metadata so it will have different metadata here also we have a comment section so for this particular topic it will show is there any kind of comments added also it will enable you to search so maybe you will be able to search your particular objects using the search options here. So it will try to search on all the topic based on the search key. Uh, along with that, you have a option to view the XML structure of this topic. And along with that, so here you have properties window, which will show you the metadata associated with this object. Along with that, here on the top bar, we have different options here like start, structure. So structure will show you how you can structure your content. And basically you have inline formatting options. Also you have advanced options where you can add different alternate title and other things and you have different tools as well that will enable you different views of this structure 
So now let's edit a content. So I have a topic here called messages. So this document is already released. So if I want to edit it, let me create a new version of this topic. I'm going to create a new version of this topic. I have created now. And I would like to edit this messages as a some different title like this is demo and I can just quickly save this topic for now so I have saved this topic now I would like to send this topic for a review so in such case I can change the status of this object to to be reviewed so when a status of this object is changed to be reviewed author cannot edit it anymore and the workflow for this has been triggered so now as a reviewer when i log into the system i can just access to my particular publication And let me open the review when i click on review online so here you have an option to choose the language in which you want to review it so basically you have all other languages which are available in your content manager make sure that you have the objects in respect to languages that can be uh, you know in, in which the reviewer can use what I mean is for example you have an English content if a customer or if a reviewer wants to review that in uh, Dutch then the translated object for this topic needs to be present in Dutch so now as of now I will open it in English so basically as a reviewer I have I can see the complete uh, document here and similar to draft space here also you have an outline where you can see the complete structure of your document completely also you have an option of comments so this will be showed when you have comments and also you can search the document based on your structure so for example let me search on messages so now I am searching it on the messages so this is going to list all the search results now for example i have this as my topic so now this is ready for review so to add a comment from a reviewer what i can do is just select this and you have option here like add a comment or add a session let me add a comment to this please change it to demo for TXS event so I can add or a reviewer can add their comments to which that needs to be changed and you can choose what kind of change you are expecting is it an editorial change or a general change or a technical change so as of now this is an editorial change so I will select it as editorial change and I save it so once you save you have to share your comments basically you will know our a reviewer will not be reviewing only one document so they will be have multiple topics to be reviewing so they can add different uh, you know uh, comments for different topics and they can share all the comments in one go so as of now I will click on share my comments and I'm going to share it so this is shared that means the change or the comment which is added for this has been shared with the author so now I will switch back to my author role let me refresh this screen so when I click on this topic 
and if I click on comments so here I have a comment from the reviewer so they have asked me to change or asked the author to change the demo to demo for TXS so now this can be edited demo this is a demo I can before that we have to change the status of this to to be reviewed so let me go back to this here I'm changing it to draft state so once it is changed to draft then author will be able to edit or make the changes based on the comments so now I will change it to demo for TXS event and even author can mark it as resolve so I will mark it as resolve and I can add the comments like changes are implemented Done. so this change has been implemented and I can again change it back to to be reviewed I mean the author can change the status to, to be reviewed so as a reviewer if I see the page again I should be able to see the changes and here you can filter your uh, comments based on whether it is a resolved state or a unresolved state so now I'm filtering my comments on resolved state so this change has been implemented as you can see the comments or the suggestions has been added to the document so this is just a small uh, demo on how we can uh, interact between the draft space and review spaces also ideally what will happen is if you have integrated a emailing system with your Tridian docs then as soon as you change the status of this object from draft to, to, to be reviewed so you can trigger an email to the reviewer by using the cop by by using the link of this so you can just add an email by copying the link which is here that can be accessed directly by the reviewer for the reviewing even they need not to you know directly get into the uh, Tridian Docs content manager they can directly access the the, uh, the the reviewer space directly rather than even getting into the Tridian Docs content manager as you see here and in fact it will directly take you to the respective topic for which the author is expecting to be reviewed by the reviewer so this is a, just a small demo about collective spaces so any questions hey Navin that's a great presentation I think uh, it's a very good uh, insights what exactly the drop space is and why it is required to use I think definitely I also learned a lot of things from it um, I see a couple of questions coming in um, the one question is that is a spell check and the grammar uh, can be uh, done this through this tool that was one of the questions like with the drop space is it possible to do that one Yes, it is possible, but again, uh, we need to integrate uh, a kind of uh, plugin there to have a spell check. But yes, it is possible uh, for the spell check. For grammar check, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I need to check that. Yeah, but sure. for sure, spell I'm... check can be done. Yeah. Good, good. I think yeah, we can we can cross check and then confirm it on the on the grammar as yes. well. Um, yes. There's another question: is like, uh, is the author having authority to reject? The suggestion from the reviewers they will not have a direct rejection or something like that but of course they can add their comments uh, instead of resolving that they can even in fact add their uh, comments back and send it back for the reviewer 
Okay. So it, yeah, I mean, uh, it's not that they have to really implement the changes suggested by the reviewer always. Without doing the changes, they can add their comments or their views based on the suggestions, and they can send it back to the reviewer for further uh, assistance or further discussion. Okay, okay. Um, there's one more. Um, is like, is it possible to attach an item to the other items? Yeah, that is contrast. Yep. Yes, it is possible. Yeah, it is possible. Yeah. So basically, you can use the co content references or contrasts what we are currently using. Uh, that is also possible. We can uh, do the content references in the space. Yes. Okay. Great. Great. So basically, using a contrast mechanism, so you can yes. attach an one item with other items. And exactly. is it possible yes. through the docs? I mean. The, the, space. the space space as well. Okay. Yes, it is possible. Um, there's a long one more question came in uh, just now. Are we managing the version, the like old content of the messages in the messages section? Uh, I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm not sure on the question. Could you please elaborate or um, something like? Uh -huh. Can we manage the versions? Yes. In the messages section, basically. So mm. if you look at the messages section, there do we see the version numbers? Uh, how yeah. do we manage the version numbers there? Can we manage it? Of course. Uh, so basically, uh, we can manage the versions for the objects. So messages means, do they mean the comments or yep. the it's, objects? It's more like a comments, yes. OK. For comments, uh, no, we don't have a versioning for that. But uh, yes, we can see the complete history of uh, what has been done for a particular change. So if you see, it will list out the complete history for a particular uh, comment. It will keep track mm -hmm. of that. So yeah, like that, you can manage the complete history of a uh, discussion on a particular comment. OK, great. I hope great. that's what uh, the question was about. Yeah, Yeah, I think so. That's, that's yeah. what um, that's... Yes. But of um, course, if yes. they are talking about the versions of the objects, yes, as I mm -hmm. mentioned already, uh, for the released objects, they will get an option to create a new version, and that will create a new version in the docs as well. Yeah. OK. Uh, yeah, that's the same like a versioning mechanism. Uh, yes, in the 3DM docs. Sites. Okay. Yes. Okay. There are a couple of more came in uh, as we are talking. so. Yeah. There's a question is asking about like how can we refer earlier commented draft? It will uh, remain in a draft space with the mm -hmm. same record. With some record, like for example, like dates. Okay, you mean for example, this has been changed, but you want to see the history of this. Was that the question? Um, how how can we refer the earlier commented draft? It will be remain in a draft space with this some record. So basically, um, mm -hmm. if I understand it correctly, like if they, if you create in the com, I mean, you're creating a document in the draft space, yes. right? Yes. And how yes. it will be referred in the, uh, and, and you left some comment to that one, right? To that, uh, yes. uh, you're creating then a uh, document where it's a draft and in the draft space. Yes. Um, how that will be stored in the, in the docs itself? I mean, is it stored as in a draft itself or how do you, how that will be managed? Mm, actually, still I'm not clear with the question here. But yeah, let me let me put it let me put it in a simple way like this. So when when the um, you creating in a document or you open the document in the draft space, right? Yes. And yes. you're modifying it that how yes. that will be in the in the trading docs. How will that look like in the trading docs? Is it like a, a still mm. in a draft mode or how how it will be there? Okay. See, it, it is direct. It is in direct synchronization with uh, your Tridian docs environment. It is something similar to what we have as a content authoring tools as well. That means, for example, now you have an object as draft in the draft space. So now I'm in the draft space, and this is in the draft state. In Tridian Docs as well, it will maintain the same status. For example, if I see this topic, mm -hmm. 
in the talks. So this is my topic. As you see, this was a newly created version. In the beginning of the demo, we created a new version for this. And now the status of that is in draft. Yep. Right. So now I do make some changes. Mm -hmm. Save it. So this save is nothing but you are checking in the content in your authoring tool and yep. changing the status as to be reviewed. So as soon as this is done, it will apply those changes in the 3 docs as well. If I go back to this messages again, so as you see, the status is already changed. So it is directly in synchronization with whatever we are changing in the DAF space that will be applied on the 3 docs as well. There is no any kind of uh, 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 lag or kind of a barrier between draft space or TDN docs. Excellent. I think that that should answer the question. I think so. It is basically hope, yeah. uh, syn synchronize the content as uh, as soon as you open that in the draft space. Whatever the yes. changes you're doing, it's it's automatically synced with an uh, TDN docs. TDN docs. Well. Yes. Okay. yes Great. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a one more question, probably that would be the last question for now. Uh, no is. is it yeah. possible to integrate the translations uh, within a draft space? Uh, translations means they want to use the different language except English or... Yep. Uh, uh, well, uh, as of now, it is not possible. Uh, but yeah, going forward, uh, it should be possible. I guess engineering team is already working on that. So definitely you should be able to add different language in the uh, draft space as well to create the content. Yeah. Um, and that's one thing I think I'm also thinking of maybe the question is like this. If I mm -hmm. want to send for the translation, if I created this content, is it possible to send it from the draft space itself? Uh, well, uh, uh, it is not possible for now because for translations, we already giving an option in the 2 docs. And to send it for translation, we need uh, administrative rights. So it is not possible unless there is any customizations. But of course, you can uh, customize the DAF space to have it enabled to send it for translation directly from DAF space. It is a customizable stuff. OK, so you need to customize it to get that. Yes. Okay. Great. Um, thank you so much, uh, Navin. I think we are just running out of the time for the we are ready for the next session. It's a yeah. great presentation, and thank you for um, uh, giving the insights about the draft space and the other details. Yep. Thank you. Thank you all. Yep. And uh, have a nice day, and uh, have a nice rest of the session.